What do you guys think about this grill? Too big, too small. That's a nice color. Good advice. The restaurants are cool, but super expensive. 20% gratuity for what? You're gonna end up spending. <laughs> You're gonna end up paying $40 for two drinks up in here. Get some hand wrapped cigars. Place well, too lit. This is the Versace Mansion. That's now a restaurant. Do I need to be a lifted truck channel? You guys let me know. Anyone want a free room? <laughs> bye boy, bye boy. What you gonna do? Ooh, X4M. Wow, that interior. Okay, well I've chosen my next car. Oh, Prius. Because of my next car. Hey, 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 hey. Is this an M Sport? Jeez. Or do I need one of these? What is this? Ooh. Darth Vader had a Jeep. <laughs> LeBron James, is that you? LeBron? Oh. Oh. Hmm. Oh yeah! I swear, every yours we see here is from Turo. Jeez, that really looks hard though. That's what I need.
Wow, that's a repeat. It's a four door Aston Martin. Hello everybody, I hope you enjoyed the change of scenery from uh, earlier in the video. Oh, if you're like me, you probably don't drive your M3 too often because gas prices are astronomical. I've been fortunate enough to actually own a Lexus Hybrid as my daily driver. It gets uh, maybe around 34, 35 mpgs. I'll drive it uh, up and down a mountain and go up 100 miles per hour straight up in the mountain and it still gets like 30 mpg. Really nice car. We have a Lexus CT. Gets even better gas. In this video I want to explain how to save gas mileage if this is your primary vehicle. Um, first things first, get your spark plugs changed every 50,000 miles at minimum. Um, that can change your gas mileage tremendously and uh, really help you save um, a buck or two in gas. Also while you're doing that, change your coral packs if need be. Um, if they're still working, leave them as is. fashion this car needs gas. Uh, the first thing um, aside from getting your spark plugs done do not leave this car just running in the garage to warm it up. I've heard about guys just letting their car sit in the garage warm up and that definitely does not help with your MPGs nor does it necessarily help with your protecting your rod bearings um, because Yes, you should let the car circulate maybe one or two minutes, but if you're letting it sit there in the garage for like 15, 20 minutes, just so that you can protect your rod bearings, that won't do any good. You need to drive the car, let fluid circulate, but also drive it under a certain RPM. Ah, I always scrape right here. Ah. Primarily, um, you know, the same gas saving tips apply to this car as other cars. Uh, you should avoid using your AC, obviously, if you want to save gas. But I mean, if you have to turn it on, just turn it on. Other than that, um, avoid using M mode, obviously. <laughs> trying to get the best gas mileage and what really does suck and I don't enjoy doing this but you should put the car in automatic mode the car is going to be choosing the best gears uh, for you to be in uh, to save gas as you can see I'm already at two miles left for the tanks but I have a gas station right down the street uh, so I'm going to fill up and uh, just drive with you guys uh, really conservatively to see how well the uh, E92 M3 can do uh, on gas in the city. Um, other gas saving tips, I usually let it cruise to a stop. You don't want to be downshifting uh, to slow down the car. Just let the car do its thing. As you can see on the automatic mode, it does shift very quick uh, up in gears. So you'll be in sixth gear while going 45, 50. Um, and I think the car knows the best way to be economic uh, in this sense. It really does suck because I, I love V8 so much. Um, I even want to get a, a naturally aspirated V8 as a family car as opposed to our current G-Wagon, uh, maybe a Lexus GX, something that'll last forever, but with gas prices being so high, it's, it's just so annoying uh, to have to fill up gas so often for so much. And even in this car, even though it has a small tank, it still does cost a lot. So um, with my range only being two miles at this point, uh, you'll 
you'll definitely see how much it takes to fill up the car. Once again, luckily I do have a hybrid that I use on an everyday basis. Uh, when anyone ever asks me, should I use this as a daily driver, I always kind of lean towards the no, only because I like to uh, keep this car kind of like as a garage queen and a weekend driver. Um, it's just not really economical for everyday usage, especially with crazy gas prices. But with that being said, not everyone has that luxury, so I guess this is the best way to save gas. Um, kind of staying true to my word, I'm not really using the AC. It's not too hot right now. It's in automatic mode. I'm letting it coast to stoplights. I'm not downshifting. Um, I'm not letting it, the car sit there idle just to warm up. Um, and I feel like those simple tips can help you save gas. So I want to see how much MPGs I'm actually getting in this car. Currently 16.3 miles to the gallon, uh, which is cool. Um, honestly, not super bad, but I mean, for a small car, it is kind of uh, <laughs> not really that great. So as you can see, I didn't fill up the tank. I barely drive this car. This is just more so for me to drive it. 30 bucks, I got a quarter tank. Sheesh, <laughs> that's not good at all. Uh, I'm gonna hold uh, this button right here. Let's refresh the MPGs to see how much MPGs I get. Driving normally to the gym and gas saving. So I'm gonna drive an automatic. Uh, I, I really don't like this. To be honest, I, I don't really do this, but this is for the sake of the video. Um, the owner of this gas station has a really nice new G80. I don't know where this guy's going. Downshifting, letting the car downshift on its own, and I'm at 21.5. Wow, not bad at all. Um, for you car guys, uh, everything that I'm saying is probably common sense, you know. Uh, but for people who honestly want one of these cars, especially in this economy with gas mileage and are planning to drive it on an everyday basis, uh, this is what it looks like in the city. If I see a red light up ahead, I'm gonna let the car coast. 
Um, another tip, uh, if you're trying to save gas, don't open the windows, just run the air. And if you know that it's cooler within the car, you should put it on manual right there. Let the air circulate inside of the car. Once more, letting it coast into traffic and pressing the brakes. gym and I'm getting 19.6 uh, mpgs at the very moment um, honestly speaking not amazing but uh, it is decent uh, I'd have to say if you're trying to compare it a German V8 to an American V8 I think the German V8 uh, definitely takes the win in terms of uh, just mpg wise except for the newest 50s uh, I believe that they're very smart um, and get pretty good gas mileage in like the lower 20s. So I just made it to the gym. Uh, I got 17.9 mpgs. Not too bad, but uh, that's where we're at.